What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Greg. Go crazy, go crazy. Yes, we back here with the video. Before you do anything, go and hit that like button, that subscribe button for your boy, and turn on the post notification. Now, like you see by the title and the thumbnail, this is a new point guard build in NBA 2K22. That's a demi guy. I ain't gonna lie. He's 6'6, can do everything shoot, get contact dunks, play make, and he got good defense. Now, to make this build, you wanna make him 1.99. 81 kg 2.13 on the wingspan and this is in the metric system y'all know y'all have to use the metric system to make most of these nice builds because if you don't i mean the bills not gonna be as nice as they are the imperial system the bills are nice but in the metric system the bills will be a lot better i mean a lot better you can tweak some things around get some stuff you couldn't get in the imperial system which is the regular system that we use in america on these builds in 2k22 now to make this build you're going to put the close shot at 40 the driving layup at a 71 the driving dunk at a 90 to get the contact dunks i made well i made my mid-range shot at 70 a 84 on the three-pointer a 81 on the free throw and i gave an 85 pass accuracy 85 ball handle and an 84 speed with ball so you can get all the good playmaker and gold bullet pass because gold bullet pass is a really good badge that you need on almost every player in this game because without it it's like the passing is terrible but you're gonna need gold gold bullet pass my bad but for the defense i made it right in the 88 i gave him a 96 so he can unlock hall of fame interceptor max out the block offensive and defensive rebound so i can get silver rebound chaser and silver run protector to block people and i get silver intimidator so like i said this badge count is the badge count ends with 15 21 28 and 27. now the build is lethal i mean when i tell you the build is lethal it can literally do everything once i get some clips of this build once i max them out I'm, bro i'm gonna show you all some clips of this build once i max them out this build is going to break the game he can literally do everything you want but the title comes out as a two-way three-point playmaker now y'all know as y'all can see by the badge count, this just ain't no two or three point playmaker. This is one with contact dunks. With contact dunks. And he gets everything. Like, look at it. It's literally balanced around. Like, look, for this play, I'm going to give him hold, I mean, gold limitless, take off, pulserizer, slip three finisher. And I don't care what the bronze bad. Now, look at the shooting. He get gold, hot zone hunter, rim, I mean, rhythm shooter, Hall of Fame sniper. And he can get gold catch and shoot, too. Come on now. Come on now. I'm telling y'all. Now for the playmaking, I ain't get enough playmaking, but that's why you make it a rebirth. So you can add the more badges, whatever category you want. You can put more on finishing, more on shooting, more on playmaking, and more on defense. Me, personally, I put more on playmaking and defense because that's just the type of player I am. I like to playmake and I like the defense. I mean, you can never go on with too many playmaking or defensive badges in 2K. But that's my style of play. Now, if y'all don't like this type of build, I mean... Y'all could change the badge count around, but you're still going to be overpowered. You could put more badges on finishing, more badges on shooting, more badges on playmaking, and less in defense if y'all want to. But this is the way I would make the build because you get everything. Like, you literally can't stop them. And you're going to be taller than most guards. And you're going to probably get the board over most guards. And you got a Hall of Fame interceptor and gold pickpocket, which is really enough because y'all know I got Hall of Fame pickpocket on my other two-way playmaker. And it works sometimes, but it don't work as much as it should because y'all know they changed the defense now. When the game first came out, Hall of Fame pickpocket was working like a boy. <laughs> Hall of Fame pickpocket was working, working. Now it worked a little bit. It didn't really work like it used to. You, most of the time you try to reach with Hall of Fame pickpocket now, it's a good chance they're going to call a foul. But with gold pickpocket, it's a chance you might get, it's a chance you might not. I'm really going to take that chance, you know. But as you can see, these are the defensive badges I would give this player now. You could change it to have like a 1v1 style type of defensive player, or you could change it for like the rec and the pro am style defensive badges. But me personally, this is the badges I would give my two-way, well, quotation two-way three-point playmaker but y'all know in reality this really can be like a two-way slash playmaker really but they just gave that the title because i got a lot of shooting in it and if i would have put less shooting and more finishing it would have been like probably like a two-way slash and play but you know it's all right though but as you can see that's the way i would make my build and this game is this build is going to be game breaking remember what i'm saying right now but yeah that's really it for the video don't forget to like comment subscribe if you're new and i'm out peace